Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Bunting, and today I'm talking about skincare for the men in your life. Now, I've definitely seen a trend towards more and more men somewhat sneakily coming through the door, um, wondering what a dermatologist-led skincare program can do for them. Um, the nice thing is if the man in your life, whether it's your boyfriend, husband, brother, son, father, has noticed that your skin has improved, um, to me that's a sign that something is really working and I would say it's natural for them to then be curious as to whether or not the same approach might deliver results for them too and who doesn't want to present their best self especially if you're in the kind of job where you're on so um, I see a lot of lawyers for example and I think someone who is um, presenting themselves in court they want to show their best selves and they don't feel to be distracted by things like blemishes or ingrown hairs and let's face it men have fewer tools to hide behind than us women so um, these kind of men are coming in looking for a structured skincare program that minimizes problems and makes them look great and they want it in as fuss free a format as possible so actually this can be a real challenge because they'll only do a certain number of things. You have like one or two hits and that's it. You've got to get the biggest bang for your buck possible because they won't want to mess around with lots and lots of steps in the morning or the night time. So I thought I'd share with you the way I put together a structured skincare program for a guy. So my approach to putting together a skincare routine um, for a guy is much the same as it is for a girl. We start with the skincare basics. Now, given that men don't tend to wear cosmetics as a general rule, um, the same cleanser and moisturizer can often be used both in the morning and at night. Now, men will not use anything, in my experience, that looks too feminine or girly. So I find that the best way to start with cleansing and moisturizing is to recommend a sort of simple unisex product. Um, and I have to say that I've used Cetaphil in guys' skincare routines for many years now, and I've yet to find anything really simpler, cleaner, more unisex looking, um, or indeed effective and cost effective than Cetaphil. Um, they're gentle skin cleanser, and moisturizing lotion tend to be a really good place to start. Um, Non-fragranced, non-comedogenic, um, and if someone has drier skin, then there's also the moisturizing cream, but I have to say the lotion tends to work really well. Um, can easily be used in the shower. Let's face it, in the morning, a lot of guys just wanna use something simple while they're in the shower um, and don't wanna do a separate cleansing step. And something like Cetaphil is just perfect for that reason. Then I think the next thing to build into a guy's skincare routine is sunscreen. Now, to get a man to wear sunscreen every day, it really takes some convincing. They hate products that tend to be, I'm making some generalizations here just to be clear, but in my experience, they tend to hate anything that's sticky, that makes them look shiny, or that leaves residue behind um, that might cling to the beard area. Um, and they need to really believe it's gonna do something for them. Now, I have no problem convincing my male rosacea patients that sunscreen is important. They really do perceive the value of wearing it every, other, every day. Um, and to some extent, those who are being treated with active ingredients for acne will understand that they may be more sun sensitive. Um, for the rest, it really is about me convincing them of the value of the anti-aging benefits, and by and finding products that really they have no problem with applying. Um, I would say that one such sunscreen is the Epionce Ultra Shield Lotion SPF 50. So this is a great choice because um, it is highly water resistant, so great for active guys who are outdoorsy, um, who do water sports, um, who run a lot, um, because it really stays put and it's physical sunscreen based in the main and it contains a high percentage of zinc oxide yet it is almost invisible on the skin um, which is very unusual for a physical sunscreen it's non-clogging it's light textured and it doesn't tend to leave skin looking shiny um, so it's also 
got no detectable fragrance. Um, so it's a great product for guys and they don't tend to have any problems putting this on. Um, it does also come in some useful small sample sized um, uh, products, so great for slipping in the husband's pocket when he goes off to play golf. Um, so I think if you can really get those three products to work for you, you're going to win your guy's confidence that actually a bit of a structured his skincare routine um, is a good idea. And then you have something to build on um, because you've got the foundations in place. So you have these great foundation for a skincare um, routine in your cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen. And that is something that you can really build upon. So um, for example, if a guy is prone to blemishes, um, much harder for them to hide a spot, so much more of an onus on fixing problem skin um, and reducing the existence of blemishes. So um, in that case, I can tend to find guys um, amenable to using a retinoid at night and maybe an anti-inflammatory spot product during the day. Um, over the counter, I like Medicaid, and this is a great one called Retinol 6TR, which you can basically titrate the strength of by adding drops into your moisturizer at night building up frequency and the potency of your retinoid at night and that's going to help prevent blemishes and also reduce the red marks that blemishes leave behind. So again, really focusing on making the skin as even a canvas as possible. Um, and then something like their beta gel for daytime, which is a blend of different acids, azelaic acid, salicylic acid and dioic acid. Again, helping with the red marks as well as the active and flame blemishes and also contains niacinamide. And this could easily be used um, on ingrown hairs and inflamed shaving bumps in the beard area too. So um, those are simple, easy products to use. They don't tend to leave any kind of telltale film behind. They absorb nicely into the skin and guys can quickly see the benefits of using active skincare. Um, and I think that tends to build um, an understanding of what skincare can do for them too. Once they've seen an improvement in their complexion from the perspective of something like blemishes, they might then be ready to go even further and build in something protective to improve the appearance of their skin long term, um, such as vitamin C. And again, the texture um, of something like Ubaji Vitamin C Professional C Serum um, at 15 to 20%, again, can be really beneficial to a guy's skin. And they're naturally that bit more tolerant than female skin typically. So they can cope with actors oftentimes a lot more easily than we might do in the first instance. So again, looking at formulations that won't leave the skin sticky or tacky or telltale sheen behind um, or feel greasy. I think these are the key ways to get a guy to use a routine that he can stick with and really see the fruits of. I hope that was helpful. If so, please leave your comments below and subscribe for more videos. Bye for now.